Yeah, I believe technology has a role to play in helping us to restore the environment. My name is Ned Duar. My background is originally in electronic engineering, but I specialized in the use of satellite imagery for monitoring the Earth. My role in Life Terra is to use uh, satellite data and images in order to tell us about the health of the newly planted trees and the plots and how they are developing over time. Within the project we're developing an app which will allow people who plant trees to tag the locations. Then we will be able to track how that tree develops over uh, its lifetime. We can find out what's the surface temperature of the land, what's the current land cover in a specific area, what's the variability of the ecosystems, uh, what's the slope of the land and from this we can then choose the best tree for the best location. And then once we have done the planting, we can again use satellite information to complement the studies done in the field to tell us about the, the health uh, and the status of these newly planted trees. Yeah, I think one part of the mix for uh, dealing with climate change is carbon capture and one of the good ways of doing that is by planting trees because over the lifetime of those trees they really do manage to sequester quite an amount of carbon. Of course this doesn't mean we can continue to emit carbon by driving uh, cars, by using fossil fuels for energy, as well as uh, removing essentially the use of fossil fuels, we have to capture the carbon that's already in the atmosphere. I think the value of, of gifting trees is, is manifold and I was thinking as well when a child is born it, it can be a really nice thing to, to gift a tree so that the tree and the child grows together. So I think that can enable children to, to reconnect with nature which is something I think that's lost a little bit because technologies we often see them as detaching people from nature but I think this is an opportunity where we can use technology to actually reconnect children with nature. My concerns around climate change and the diminishing biodiversity I think it's almost emotional, it gives me almost a pain in my heart because um, I've been studying climate change for 20 years now, I've been working with satellite images for 30 years so I have observed close and personal the changes in all parts of the globe, the, the changes, whether it is the reduction in forests, whether it is the pollution occurring at sea, and also the diminishing biodiversity. And it is bewildering. However, a small point of, of hope is that I think there's been a blooming of awareness in the last 10 years in particular among citizens in general across the world. And they're no longer sitting back waiting for so-called decision makers to make uh, to take those decisions. With the Life Terra project, because it's a, a project of hope, we're actually using satellite images to look at these new plots being planted and how they are greening up the, uh, the earth and our use of satellite images to look at the flowering of trees across Europe in the next years uh, brings me a lot of joy. LifeTerra is co-financed by the European Commission through the LIFE programme.